My name is Joy Fido and we're taking on giving you the skills that you've been asking for. Uh, we have so many views on YouTube and the demand has been very high. People are based in so many different locations. The US, Canada, Australia, various parts of Europe. And it's all about transportation to get to where we are. For this particular video today, we are working on the Ghana Conroe pineapple design. And to get us working on that particular technique, I'm going to be showing you the materials we need to get you started. This is a training video, so it's important you work with something that gets you started. Now, once you get good and comfortable with your training head, this is when you now transfer your knowledge and your skill into your client. To work with Ghana Conroe or Conroe generally, the best hairs are the synthetic hairs. Human hairs are not good for Conroes or Ghana Conroe in particular, so I'm not going to suggest human hairs at all. So focus on what I'm showing you. It's going to be the synthetic hair, and the brand we work with a lot is the expression hair. Okay, so look at these two fingers. They are going to hold a bit of the extensions in there. And your right hand will come again with those two fingers. We call them the picking fingers. They will actually help and pull strands of hair from the one. Okay, so this is what I've got on the one side after the stretching and pulling. This is the other side. Of it. And once you finish, first thing. This is what we've done. That's the section in the middle. This is what becomes what the pineapple. You know when you have a pineapple, you have that bit in the middle. This is what's gonna give it that weight when we finish with the corals. So that's the section we've just finished. We'll get you started and understand your fingers. So again, talking about fingers, this is our resting fingers or holding fingers. And this is our So there you have it, the Ghana Conroe pineapple style. 